Well, the weather also canceled the annual ALS walk in St. Augustine. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with the organizers who made the very tough decision to scrub an event that means so much to the community. Flooding, wind and rain forced the ALS walk in St. Augustine to cancel on Saturday. With the rain, the wind, the flooding, so we made the right decision, but it was it was tough on, on the committee, on the volunteers, on the participants. The walk hits close to home for Alicia Bailey, who organized the event. Well, I lost my husband 12 years ago to ALS, which is a frontal lobe neurological disease that basically the neurons weight down, the cells weight are weighted down and the neurons won't work. And so your limbs, your, your muscles fasciculate, your limbs don't work, you become paralyzed. So it's a horrific disease. Bailey and her current husband, Mark Bailey, say they expected more than 300 people to participate in the half a mile walk. The path would have started at Ripley's Believe It or Not. The walk would have passed the fort here and gone all the way through downtown, but you can see the water has spilled over the seawall and into the street, completely washing out the path. The conditions got worse throughout the day and I'm standing here near Bridge and Cordova Street where you can see the water is almost up to my knees and it's even deeper further down the street. This is the second year in a row the ALS walk was changed. Last year it was virtual due to COVID-19. We will never stop fighting. We will always continue no matter how we have to do it. Despite the flooding canceling this year's walk, the Baileys say their mission continues. Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station. Actually, the organizers say they anticipate raising $160,000 toward fighting ALS this year. This would make it the second most successful ALS walk in the state. They say it's not clear if they will be able to reschedule the walk, but they will keep the community updated.